Hello learners, myself Dr. Jyoti Ahuja. Today we will discuss on basic knowledge of construction and use of achievement test. What is achievement? The word achievement is a thing somebody has done successfully, especially using his or her own effort and skill. This definition is given by Oxford Advanced Students Dictionary of Current English in 2005. For example, Ram, a student in class 6, can solve 10 varieties of problems relating to simple and compound interest successfully, but Sham can solve only 4 varieties. We can then say that Ram has better achievement than Sham in solving problems on simple and compound interest. Ram could achieve more because he had acquired more knowledge, understanding and skills in the concepts of calculating interest in different contexts than what Sham had acquired during same time. Achievement in this case is thus acquisition of experience to solve problems. Now what is test? A test is an assessment, assessment for to measure a test taker's knowledge, skill, aptitude, physical fitness or classification in many other topics. One can define test by action which produces discoveries that can be used to evaluate product Quality. Now, what is achievement test? An achievement test attempts to measure what an individual has learned, that is his present level of performance. These are particularly helpful in determining individual or group status in academic learning. Achievement test scores are used in placing, advancing or retaining students at particular grade levels. Definition of achievement test. According to NM Doney, any test that measures the attainments or accomplishments of an individual after a period of training of learning is called as an achievement test. And another definition given by Thorndike and Hagen is the type of ability test that describes what a person has learned to do is called an achievement test. According to Freeman, achievement test is a test designed to measure knowledge, understanding and skills in a specified subject or a group of subjects. Now we can say that an achievement test is a formal assessment. The test helps the teacher to understand the level of comprehension of the students in a particular subject and help him to estimate the capabilities of the students. Functions of achievement test. First one is provides basis for promotion to next grade. Second one, find out where each student stands in various academic areas. Next one is it motivates the students before a new assignment has taken up. The another one is it exposes pupils difficulties which the teacher can help them to solve. Characteristics of achievement test. The first one is reliability. Reliability is the degree of accuracy with which an exam test measures what it seeks to measure a given variable. A test good reliability means that the test taker will obtain the same test score our repeated testing as long as no other extraneous factors have affected the score. A good instrument will produce consistent scores. An instrument's reliability is estimated using a correlation coefficient of one type or another. Next characteristics is validity. Validity is the quality of a test which measures what it is supposed to measure. It is the degree to which evidence, common sense or thereby supports any interpretations or conclusions about a student based on his 
or her test performance. A test is valid when it produces consistent scores over time, measures what it intends to measure, can be objectively scored and has representative norms. Third, ease in administration. A test is good only when the conditions of answering are simple, that is scientific and logical. Its instruction should be simple and clear. Next is cost. A good test should be inexpensive, not only from the viewpoint of money, but also from the viewpoint of time and effort taken in the construction of a test. Fortunately, there is no direct relationship between cost and quality. And the other characteristics is time. Generally, the time given to students is always in short supply. However, the students who do not accept very long tests. Therefore, a test should neither be very long nor very short. And the other characteristic is acceptability. A good test should be acceptable to students to whom it's begin being given without regard to any specific situation. That is the question given in the test should be neither very difficult nor very easy. Next characteristic is specificity. The items in a test should be specific to the objectives. The next is precise and clear. Items should be precise, clear so that the students can answer well and score marks. Objectivity is the also characteristics of achievement test. A test is objective when the score's personal judgment does not affect the scoring. And the next characteristic is equilibrium. Achievement of the correct proportion among questions allotted to each of the objectives and teaching content. Types of achievement test. Achievement test are basically two types. First one is standardized test and second one is teacher made test. Teacher made test may be in three forms that is written, practical and oral. Written teacher made test again has three types that is essay type questions, short answer type questions and objective type questions. First standardized test, what is standardized test? Standardization means uniformity of procedure in scoring, administering and interpreting the results. A standardized test is one in which the procedure, operators and scoring have been fixed so that precisely the same test can be given at different times and places. Standardized tool is one for which norms have been established. A standardized test is prepared after several trials of a test to a large number of students. Characteristics of standardized test. Content is standardized that is item selection done by competent judges. Second one is administration is standardized that is directions and time limits are given. Next one scoring has been standardized that is rules of rules scoring key are prepared for scoring. Next one is interpretation has been standardized that is norms are provided for interpretation of answers. Importance of standardized test. Why standardized tests are important? They are important because they give impartial information about an individual, provides information in much less time than provided by any other devices. Test measures those aspects of behaviors which otherwise could not be obtained. In subjective observation, we may overlook shy children, but these tests discover such cases also. Types of standardized test. Standardized tests are of following types. Aptitude test, attitude test, intelligence test, interest tests, personality tests. Teacher made tests are classroom tests 
and are developed by the teachers. These tests assess students learning every period of time or after a particular unit of study. Features of teacher made test. Assess degree of students progress with reference to classroom activities. It helps the teacher to assess to individual pupils strengths and weaknesses and needs. Motivate the students. It is simple to use. It provides feedback for teachers as to access the effectiveness of teaching methods. Limitations of teacher made test. Teacher made test has some limitations that is these tests are ambiguous unclear. Tests are either too short or too lengthy. These tests do not cover the entire content. Tests serve limited purpose. Tests are usually hardly conducted. Difference between standardized test and teacher made test. Purpose of both the tests are different. Standardized tests have different purpose. Its purpose is measurement of educational outcomes of students of number of schools. While the teacher made test measures the outcome of a teacher's teaching or outcome of learning in his class. Scope of standardized test is very wide, while the teacher made test has very limited scope. Accuracy in standardized test is more accurate and the teacher made test is less accurate. Standardized tests are duly edited, but teacher made tests are crude. Norms are provided in standardized test, but teacher made tests have no norms. Sources. In standardized test, we use several sources such as teachers, expert, teacher research workers, but in teacher made tests are based on experience of teachers. Standardized tests are published tests, while teacher made tests are no publishing. Standardized test covers state or regional curriculum, and the teacher made test covers small area of curriculum. What is unit test? Unit test as we know that in order to make the teaching learning easier, each subject for a particular class is divided into some units or topics. Each unit consists of interlinked concepts. Though the concepts within different units are related with each other, yet for convenience each unit is regarded as independent. After the learning teaching of that unit, you need to know the extent of attainment of each student with respect to the learning of the concepts of the unit. Purposes of unit test. Unit tests have the following purposes. The unit test is a type of formative assessment. It provides feedback which leads to students recognizing their learning difficulties. It also helps the teacher to modify his or her teaching methodologies and planning for alternate learning experiences for the students who have learning difficulties. A unit test usually covers limited competences and is conducted in a lesser time in comparison to other summative tests. Normally the unit tests are conducted in one period of 30 to 40 minutes duration. So it does not matter, does not affect other activities of the class and school in the date of conduct of unit test. Features of unit test. Unit test is based on limited competencies, specific objectives. Testing students with it is very informal in nature. That is unit testing is conducted within the normal classroom time without affecting other activities of the class. The maximum marks for a unit test is decided by the teacher. Marks secured on the unit test are less important than the diagnosis of strength and weaknesses of students. The teacher also decides the time to answer the questions, total number of items to be included in the test. It is purely a teacher made test. Varieties of test items included is oral written performance can be used in the unit test. But within a single unit, test types of items are 
limited. It does not rank the students on the basis of their performance, rather it acts as a tool for further learning. As it is conducted in an informal environment, it reduces the stress of examination in the students. Principles of constructing a unit test. We should keep in mind some points when we conduct unit test. The unit tests cover limited contents or courses. The table of specification that needs to be followed, that is blueprint, reflects the content areas in one axis whereas types of questions that is oral written and practical performance type of items on the other axis related to the instructional objectives that is knowledge understanding application and skills limited number of questions which can be answered within a particular period has to be framed by the teacher after preparation of the items on each content area the teacher may arrange them systematically and then administer the test to the students in an informal atmosphere the scoring pattern can be discussed with the students and finalized after the testing is off steps in the construction of achievement test constructing a good test requires the following steps that is planning writing the test items assembling and editing the items and making the scoring processes in planning the test constructor who plunks directly into item writing is likely to produce an inconsistent test without any advanced plan some area of syllabus will be overemphasized while other may remain untouched a test constructed without a blueprint is likely to be unbalanced and representative of teacher interest much of the criticism has been done of the objective test system for our emphasis on rote memory and disproportion in coverage of the syllabus test specification should draw up before the items are prepared planning has three parts the first one has determining the purpose of test the test is developed by the teacher to assess the student's achievement this step also includes determining the contents to be included and the related instructional objectives to be achieved second assigning weightage to the related content this includes assigning marks to the topics that are included in the contents according to their importance and relevance this can be done according to instructional objectives units and subunits of types form of questions important factors to be considered in the design for the tests are weightage to objectives weightage to content weightage to form of questions and weightage to difficulty level sample of weightage of distribution marks that is weightage to objectives this indicates that objectives are to be tested and what weightage has to be given to each objective you can see that objectives that is knowledge understanding application analysis synthesis evaluation we have given weightage to the objectives weightage to the content this indicates the various aspects of the content to be tested and the weightage to be given to these different aspects that is topic or content included for the achievement test suppose we have two topics that is topic sub topic 1 and sub topic 2 then we have assigned the marks and weightage according to the content weightage to form of questions form of questions here is objective type short answer type and essay type that is the number of questions included in objective type short answer type and essay type and the weightage to difficulty level difficulty level deals with essay question easy questions average questions and difficult questions that is how many questions we should include which are easy and number of questions which are average and difficult questions developing blueprint is a part of planning a blueprint is a sort of the design for the test 
paper in which a detailed question wise distribution of marks over specific objectives, topics and form of questions are presented. All the steps dis discussed above should be borne in mind before preparing a blueprint. What is blueprint? Blueprint is a three dimensional chart giving the placement of the objectives, content and form of questions. Here is a blueprint in which questions and number of questions and marks are distributed. O defines objective type questions, SA defines short answer types, abbreviation for short answer type is SA, abbreviation for short objective type is O and for essay type is E. The number outside the bracket indicates the marks and those inside indicates the number of questions. Second part is writing, editing and reviewing. The second step in the construction of the achievement test is the writing test items. Following the scheme in blueprint, the investigator write the multiple choice items related to the different content areas. Questions can be written in the following ways. Writing all the questions at one time, writing questions according to their form or types of writing questions unit wise so that the whole syllabus to be covered in the test. Question should not be ambiguous or out of syllabus. Various type of questions like sentence completion, true or false, matching type, short answer type and essay type questions can be included according to the blueprint prepared. Third is editing and reviewing. A preliminary draft of the achievement test thus prepared was firmly edited by the teacher herself and secondly it was given to some other subject expert to check the accuracy of the content and language. It was accordingly edited and reviewed. After required correction, final draft of the achievement test was prepared. Third, first step is preparation of the scoring key and marking scheme. In the case of objective type items where the answers are in the form of some letters or other symbols, a scoring key is prepared. Scoring key in which value uh, score are assigned, marks are assigned. In case of short answer and essay type questions, the marking scheme is prepared. In preparing marking scheme, the examiner has to list out the value points to be credited and fix up the mark to be given to each value point. That is for objective type or subjective type or short answer type, you can assign value and according to value, you can give marks. Let us sum up. Achievement test is a quite useful in measuring the learning acquisition by particular student in different subjects. Based upon the nature of learning outcome and content measured, quality of test item, procedure of administering and scoring and interpretation the teacher made tests are prepared. According to the modes of response, three type of test items such as oral, written and performance based practical works can be developed and used. The classroom teacher while preparing the teacher made test shall use all types of items. Unit test is basically a teacher made test which is formative in nature. The unit test is informally conducted by the teacher. It provides credible feedback to the teacher regarding his or her teaching methodologies as well as to the students regarding his or her learning progress and difficulties. Further, it is used for remediation and enrichment purposes. Thank you.